Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we'll be discussing if analog mastering or digital mastering is better for creating a loud master. We'll be delving into what makes each processing type unique and how that relates to this particular situation. So stick around for the full video, but first, if this is a topic that you find interesting, I'd highly recommend looking into the blog post that's associated with this video. In it, you'll find a lot more information on this topic, so simply scroll down to the description box below for a link. Also, if you're an artist, engineer, or producer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, you can send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample of it. All you have to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we will do the rest. Now, although there are many opinions regarding mastering and loudness, let's suspend those just for a moment and admit that achieving a certain loudness can be a big part of the mastering process. In fact, if an artist wishes to achieve a certain loudness, just so long as it's reasonable, it's a mastering engineer's job to try and accommodate and respect the wishes of the artist. With that in mind, creating a loud master, one that can compete with other masters out at the moment, is something to understand and try to work through. So how does loudness relate to analog and digital mastering? Well, in short, loudness is achieved by amplifying the signal while to the best of the engineer's ability, not causing distortion. Doing so often means compressing particularly loud dynamics so that the overall signal can be amplified and result in an overall perceived greater loudness. Considering this compression and limiting can be accomplished with either analog or digital, one doesn't have a clear advantage over the other. However, there is one aspect of analog mastering that should be taken into consideration. When mastering, loudness is always considered or thought of as loudness before distortion. Now, of course, you can push the signal into greater perceived loudnesses by distorting it, but this is definitely not ideal and almost goes without saying, widely avoided. In a digital system, 0 dBFS means you have no more headroom before distortion will occur. You can push the signal farther, but it will distort. In an analog system, 0 VU does not mean that there isn't any headroom above it. In fact, the amount of headroom is often an additional 20 dB above 0 VU. This isn't to say that the analog setup is 20 dB louder than the digital, just to say that the headroom of an analog system is relative to the calibration. When it comes to how much signal can be sent through an analog system without distortion, many factors come into play. These include, but aren't limited to, the overall wattage of the amplification system, the components used in the analog equipment, and as it relates to the engineer monitoring and assessing any distortion in the master, the speaker system. This means that analog systems don't have as much of an absolute cutoff as digital systems do. Now, regardless of how loud a signal can become in an analog mastering setup, it will inevitably need to be made into a digital signal for the sake of distribution. So that being said, when it comes to trying to achieve greater loudnesses, either analog or digital mastering will work well. But what do you think? Has this video been helpful? If so, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, again, definitely check out the blog post where you can find even more information on this topic and some additional situations similar to the ones or the one described in this video. Follow the link in the description to find that. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample of it. All you have to do is set up the short account, upload the song, and we will do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you again so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.